This is a breaking news alert. We need not remind you of your lawful duty to act on these matters, as insisted, or nor are the consequences if you knowingly neglected your duty. USC 18 2382, 18 2071, 18 2076, 42 1983, 42 1985, 42 1986. In light of the information presented, we require your thoughtful response within five days of the date of this notice. If we do not receive your response within five days, we will have no choice but to understand that you do not wish to do your duty and are content in acting in negligence to your obligation to defend the rights and liberties of the people. Therefore, govern yourselves accordingly, respectfully. We the people, united individuals of these states united. We had tens of thousands of, of people put their names to this across the United States and including Hawaii, all 50 states. Thank you. As you may know, Dwight and Stephen Hammond are being forced to report to prison today for a crime they did not commit and they've been put twice in jeopardy for. They've already served prison time for this already and now they're being forced to go back again. They are a good ranching family that ranches not, not but uh, just a few miles from here. And uh, myself and many, many, many others for weeks on end put all the energy we possibly could to try to keep them from having to go into this prison. And we feel that we have exhausted all prudent measures and have been ignored. And it has been left to us to decide whether we allow these things to go on or whether we make a stand so they will not happen to other people across this country. So they will not come into our homes and take away our rights. And they will not come into our children's home and take away their rights. And I have a request for the media. And that is to do what our elected representatives would not do. To look into the Hammond case. To find out that the Hammonds did not commit the crimes that they are accused of. And to find that the Hammonds have been, their, their human rights have been violated in many ways. And seek for justice in these matters. Um, with that, I'll turn the time over to Lavoy Finnegan for a few words, and I thank you for your time. Mr. Bundy, before you do that, can we ask you, can we ask you whether you've got the support of the Hammonds? He'll answer other questions in a minute. I, he asked me to just make a few comments. Uh, Lavoy Finnegan, and um, I'm a ranch, L-A, capital V-O-Y-F-I-N-I-C-U-M. I'm a, I'm a rancher in northern Arizona. I'm here to support the Hammonds. Um, there's been a lot of words that have been said here. Um, I see some eyes that started to kind of glaze over a little bit. Maybe I can bring it down to a little more emotional level or, or a human level. Each one of you, each one of you here today are important. Individually, individually, each one of you are important. Not collectively, we're talking about you as an individual, as a, as a human being. The Hammond family are human beings. They're individuals. They have loved ones. They have children, grandchildren. You know, this is real. This affects real lives. And so that's why we're here today. And if our federal government would have abided by the Constitution, the supreme law of the land, we would have never have gotten here. And so let me just kind of come to a, a simple level of why this is so bad at the federal level. Our founding fathers had escaped from tyranny. They believed in freedom. And so when they set up our government, they separated the powers, didn't they? And we all know what they are, executive, legislative, and judicial branches. We know those three branches of power. Well, what has happened to one-third of our land mass? Do you know that the federal government owns and controls one-third of this nation? Let me put that in perspective. You need to put in the, the country of Germany, and put in France, Spain, Portugal, Italy, and better throw in Great Britain too, and then you're getting about the same land mass as what the federal government 
says that they own and control. And they say they have complete legislative power whatsoever. They have taken it to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has upheld it. Yes, they have complete power whatsoever over one-third of this nation. Now, <clears throat> let me explain it simply as I can as I try to stumble over my words here. Is that for myself as a rancher, my ranch is in northern Arizona, a bureaucrat behind the desk can write a statute regarding me, my ranch. It has the force and effect of law. This bureaucrat is not accountable to me. We have not elected him there. Now, if I get contrary to that statute, there's a federal ranger with a gun that can enforce that. And if it goes from there, I am brought into a federal court. Neither the law enforcement, the federal ranger, has been elected by us, the people here, they are not under the power of the recall. Neither the bureaucrat that wrote the statute, neither the law enforcement that enforces it, and now I am hauled into a federal court. All three branches of power under one head with no representation. Did we not, as Americans, face this issue some 200 years ago? Don't we remember that phrase, taxation without representation? So now here we are, control without representation. One third of our landmass. It's an empire within our own country, unaccountable, unelected. The real power is in the bureaucracies. And so uh, that's kind of the simple part of it. Uh, you know, it, it's about family. It's, you know, it's about my, my family. It's about the Hammond family. I've spoken to many ranchers in Utah, in Nevada, in Arizona. And they are all feeling this same thing. They're all feeling this oppression that is coming down upon them. Their livelihood is threatened, being taken away. Their, their ranchers are being regulated out of business. And so this is real. These families are real. They're not trying to cause problems. They're food producers. They help make our country self-reliant, free, independent. Do you realize that you have to go back to about 1955 to get as low as the mother head count as we have right now in the United States? Have any of you ate a steak lately? Do you know the price of that? That goes way up. You know, if we had more demand, if we had more production, we would ship out more, we would feed more, we would be self-reliant as a country. These are good people. They produce, they add to our country. They do not take it away. I want to say one more thing about here, what we're doing. Every one of you that, that says, this is an occupation until their demands are met, you, you, you misunderstand. We're not making demands. <laughs> we're not making demands. We're here to work. These buildings here belong to Harney County. These are Harney County public lands, the state of Oregon. This is theirs. This is their land. This is their state. It's theirs. And so we've come here to work. We've not come here to sit as children and, and stamp our feet and demand that certain things are met. We're going to go to work. We're going to try to help restore these ranchers that have lost their ranchers back to them. We're going to legally go to the records. We're going to search out these ranchers. Over a hundred ranchers have lost their ranches here in this very area, in this very county, have been pushed off. We would like to see them return to their ranches, ranch again, log again, live again as free people. And so we're here to, to try to help that happen. We're going to go to work. We're not going to just sit down here and, and twiddle our thumbs. We've got a lot to do and uh, I appreciate you being here. Um, I'm just a I'm just a simple hick um, and doing the best I can. And I love this country. I, I love my kids. I love my wife. I love my family. And if we lose freedom, what shall they do? I want my children <coughs> to experience real freedom, breathe free air. And uh, I thank you. Mr. Bundy, do you have time for any questions? I'll answer a few yeah. questions. What do you make of it that there hasn't been law enforcement here? Have they been in such a um, Indirectly. They've been indirectly in touch? Yes. What does that mean? That mean? It means that they have reached out to um, individuals that we are closely affiliated with and have uh, given messages to us. What are those messages? That they intend not to come up on us. Have you heard anything from the Hammond family in, in regards to your statements here about them today? Um, well, I just made them, so no. Um, my my relationship to the Hammonds um, has has been 
about eight weeks ago, <coughs> I came to Burns and I met with them many, many times in their homes. Um, I, I watched them in tears multiple times as a 74 year old man cr covers his head and cries and asks, how can this happen to another individual? Um, I love the Hammonds. I can sympathize with them. I could empathize with them. And uh, they were afraid that after the threats came from, from them for speaking to me, they did pull back and uh, have continued communications through, uh, should we say, all alternative ways. And, but I have not spoken to them in several days. How long do you plan to be here? And have you, in a sense, already made the statement? Excuse me? How long do you plan to be here? And have you, in a sense, already made a statement? We definitely have made a state statement, but statements are not good enough. We intend on going to work and assisting the people of Harney County in claiming their rights, using their rights as free people. More details on going to work. What does that mean, going to work? Um, well, we have a lot of work to be able to unwind the unconstitutional land transactions that have taken place here. Um, we also have a lot of work to unwind the claims that the federal government has upon this land. And uh, we have teams that are going to be doing that. Um, we have uh, uh, very uh, specific plans that we are going to take place. And uh, we have a, a defense mechanism that allows us to do this while we uh, while we are here. What about the people that work in the center? Down, they were, uh, you know, I assume that there was employees at this wildlife refuge. Are they going to be part of your plan? Are you welcoming them in, or have you guys? Um, I, we haven't been in contact with any of them. Are you saying the same thing? Say to people who uh, say that this group is breaking the law. Um, I would say go to the Constitution, take the time to study it, and find out what is lawful and what is not. Is there anything that would make you say, okay, we can end this and go home now? Um, uh, I wouldn't say words would do it. I would say action would. Um, and that would be for the federal government to remove its unconstitutional uh, presence here in the county. Do you want the federal government to give up this wildlife refuge, give it back to ranchers? Is that the demand? Um, I want the federal government to abide by the Constitution of the United States. Does the Constitution of the United States not allow, I'm sorry, I haven't studied that. No, go ahead. It does not allow for federal land of any kind? It does allow for federal land of any kind, but it has to be seated properly. Uh, they have to get permission from the state legislatures. They have to purchase that land, and they can only use it for the erection of forts, magazines, arsenals, dockyards, and other needful buildings. And wildlife refuges do not fall within those uh, enumerated uh, authorized lands. So it would be, be a first step, and you'd like to see other federal wildlife refuge, refuges uh, liberated as well? Yeah, that's up to the state and the counties what, what they would do with those refugees. Mr. Bernie, do you have anybody who is from the county who's with you and uh, down there and saying they're also not going to leave? Um, no, not with us here, the staying, because their homes are much more comfortable than that. If the authorities try to remove you forcibly, uh, how far are you willing to take this in the defense of your cause? We do not believe that they will do that. What if they do? Are yes. children up here? Excuse me? Children up here? Uh, no, they are not. Okay. But, we we, but we welcome them here, absolutely. How many of you are in the building? The gun how control, many of you are Okay, one more question. Some of our listeners say that if this had happened in a federal building in downtown, Um, one is we're based on pr uh, constitutional principles. We know that we're right, and we chose a facility that was not downtown. Thank How you. How many are you, sir? How many?